Donald Trump's name is likely to stay on Colorado's primary ballot because the Colorado Republican Party is now asking the U.S. Supreme Court to overrule the Colorado Supreme Court's decision to remove Trump. So all the Supreme Court must do before next Thursday is agree to hear the case sometime in the future and Trump's name stays on the ballot. Politics guy Marshall Zellinger explains. The Colorado Republican Party plans to file this petition with the U.S. Supreme Court to get former President Trump qualified for the primary ballot in Colorado. Trump has yet to appeal last week's decision that disqualified him from Colorado's primary ballot based on the 14th Amendment. The petition by the Colorado GOP will ask the U.S. Supreme Court to consider three questions. Does the 14th Amendment apply to the president? Is Section 3 of the 14th Amendment self-executing, meaning does it take effect without an action by Congress? And is it a violation? of the First Amendment to deny a political party its ability to choose the candidate of its choice. Colorado's highest court found that the 14th Amendment does apply to Trump, disqualifying him from holding future office for having engaged in insurrection after taking an oath to support the Constitution. Today, Michigan's Supreme Court determined that the 14th Amendment question is not for that state to decide. Michigan's highest court confirmed that Trump can be on the ballot in that state. Michigan's state election laws are not the same as Colorado. In Colorado, presidential primary candidates are limited to qualified candidates, which means 35 years old, a natural born citizen, and having lived in the U.S. for at least 14 years. And based on last week's ruling, it also means you can be disqualified if found to have violated the 14th Amendment. Now, it seems almost assured that the U.S. Supreme Court will have to take this up because you have differing opinions from two different states, and that is why the U.S. Supreme Court likely exists in, 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 when you have two different states saying two different things. It's like, okay, now we will come in and figure it out for That's you. That's where it's headed, and the vast majority of court watchers, pundits, seem to think that there's no way that the court will keep them off the ballot. But it's a novel question, so that's why we have them there to decide. And it's in this rule, this, this petition to the U.S. Supreme Court, if you do nothing, you're creating this chaos for 50 other states, except for Michigan, apparently, to, uh, to do what they want. Yeah. Marshall, thank you.